Okay, this is a quick video for the AX Iris and Belgium Company enclosure for the Raspberry Pi. I'm um, just going to quickly go through the pieces. You've actually got three long side pieces and two end pieces. And the reason why you've got three long sides, because obviously you don't need five sides, is that one of them is a repeat of another, but with a cut opening for those that have got something connected onto this a ribbon cable connector etc onto these pins which is an option with the Raspberry Pi if you are going to control uh, external units etc. Um, the bottom is black, the top is see-through which I think is also really important. It's got a really nice engraved Raspberry Pi logo there. You've got four rubber feet for the very, very end. You've got the four poles with um, screw fixings etc and as I already mentioned earlier you've got the two ends. Now all of these pieces come with peelable plastic so I'm going to have some fun uh, you don't need to watch me do all this, but you've got to peel all this off. Makes it absolutely lovely. And uh, quickly just see the clear one on. I think that he says that's not going to come off easy, is it? Let me try that again. There we go. And you'll see that it's absolutely lovely. Nice bit of engraving there. Try and catch it in the light for you there. Now, the actual holes are the main parts of the Raspberry Pi segment are actually uh, completely open and uh, I'm going to push something through it just so you can see that so you can see I'm pushing through the holes here and uh, absolutely acts as brilliant air uh, vents etc and uh, I think are uh, very, very pleasant and decorative and echo the design of the Raspberry Pi logo which is on the motherboard as well okay so I'm going to peel all these covers off and then I'm going to show you step by step as I perform the uh, main assembly Okay, I've now done all the peeling and I've got a mixture of blue and uh, white or clear plastic, which will go out of the way. Just wanted to point out that um, it's on both sides. Make sure you've got everything off. All the vents here and grills on the bottom were tricky. The only part that hasn't got plastic on both sides, in case it's frustrating as you're trying to find it, is the clear top. And I guess that's because part of the Raspberry Pi uh, logo has been engraved just as a surface detail. And I guess they uh, couldn't do that through the, uh, through the plastic. Okay, so I'm now going to start the assembly itself. Okay, in making this case, you are literally going to be assembling the sides directly to the unit. So I'm going to start with an end. The USB is quite proud and so is the Ethernet adapter. I'm then going to put on the uh, end with the sound and video. He says if I get it right around, there we go. Whilst holding it, so it's again being quite ginger. Need to be reasonably dexterous to do this. HDMI side on next. Again, the HDMI connector is very slightly proud, so it helps stay in place. Now you can put the third, so the final fourth side on, sorry, which is this end here, which is where the uh, micro USB and the SD slot go in. But I find at this point I can put it onto the base and affix the final fourth side whilst it's in place. So I'm going to just check that the unit and the feet are in, and they are. Okay, that feels good. And I'm then going to get the final side, getting it the right around and popping that in place. So I've now got the four sides on. I'm going to pop the top on, make sure all eight lugs, there's four sides of each got two lugs. These two aren't quite in place, there we go. And a quick rotation lets me see that I've got everything in place and everything is absolutely snug. I can see there through the motherboard, it's clear of the black connectors. It's all being supported on the HDMI connector, these protruding sockets, etc. And that looks good. And all there is left to remain now is to put the uh, supports in and to screw things together. Whilst doing that, if you want to, holding it together, you can put an elastic band around it, etc. I've not used the, uh, uh, the final side. As I ex explained, and uh, it's just not something that I'm going to uh, be ribbon connecting anything to just at the moment. But when I do, dead easy job to re remove the uh, four lugs, take the sides off, take the top off, take the side off, and uh, switch this for this unit here. So I'm just going to hold that in place there. And I've left the uh, blue plastic covers on. So you, as you can see, what you'll do is you'll open up this area here near those pins so you can get a ribbon connected cable on top. Okay, I'm going to uh, put the pins, screw them in, etc., and nearly done. 
just going to show you a couple of things when I've been inserting these uh, these support rods. One, the top screw is the proud item, so once you find at the post with a hole, which I'm just going to do quickly here, just hand twist top unit in. I wouldn't do any tighter than hand tight. The bottom unit is then lined up with the base hole, which is been countersunk so that the screw head for the lower unit completely goes in turn, internal to the unit and again I'm using just a finger and a thumb here really loose don't need this tight at all again just to double check the top is secure again just hand tight and uh, certainly I'm going to do the last two just like that I'm going to quickly show you with the placement of the sticky feet so you can put this literally over right on the end of the corner covering and securing that countersunk screw head, head that you've just put in and four of those on each corner gives you a really nice protective rubber foot which is going to also protect this unit from scratching anything if you put it on wood etc not that you will it's a really nice smooth rounded corner unit but uh, adds that little extra bit of protection. I'm just going to finish with the last two, two poles and show you the final unit. Okay, here it is finished. So I've now got all the uh, posts and screws all in place. And as you can see, it's uh, looking pretty, pretty neat with a see-through case here. What you also get with the unit is the uh, is, is a simple assembly instructions. Uh, this is a A5 piece of paper, color on one side and simple uh, instructions of all the parts and their assembly instructions which are pretty much followed uh, all the way through. The only tool you need is a single uh, hex screw. Um, they say it's an M3 screw. I just uh, went through my toolkit until I found one that fit and I only used it for the uh, rear countersunk screws which are now covered with these uh, four rubber feet. I found that the top one just required hand tightening and uh, that's partly so that I can take the unit to pieces if I wish to put in place the alternative uh, long side which I'm going to keep with its plastic covers on for now just to look after it make sure it doesn't get too scratched etc and uh, all in all very good item well done AX Iris BE